Today, we're gonna to create a custom object in our HubSpot CRM. And we're gonna do this with no code. Uh, there's literally hundreds of examples of different custom objects you might want to create. The example we're gonna to do today is for a member or for like a membership. And so I am in my HubSpot portal in settings. If you come down here to custom objects and there is a link out to create a custom object, which takes you over to one of the pages in the HubSpot developers site. And then they're going to go to this object definition tab. You're going to find this drop down and we're going to go to create a new schema. And this is where we're going to actually create the object. So for our new object, again, we're going to call this members. So this will be member singular, members plural. I need to give it a required property. So for this, we're going to do member name. You could also do something like member ID. And then we need to create that new property that we're making. So, whoops, can't type there, member name. Label for that is just member name. We're gonna come down and set up the different associations for this new custom object. So it's already associated with contacts. We want to include companies. We also want to associate our new property, or sorry, our new object with deals. And then here it's going to get a name. So again, we're just going to say member. And you do need to hit the see all parameters and make sure that we also include a primary display property. So this primary display property is going to be the same thing. It's just going to be our member name. And so those are all the required pieces. You can come back and use this interface to update different associations, to declare secondary display properties. Um, but once you've created your custom object in HubSpot, you can also set some of those things there as well. You can create new properties. Uh, you can create new uh, additions of your custom object. So the last step, if we come up here, we're going to run a test call. You need to have your API key handy. We'll paste that in. It's going to confirm we're ready. All right, if we come down here, we have a successful response. Excellent. So then back here in our portal, and I'll make this full width again. If we go under contacts, we'll see that we now have a drop down that includes our members. So if we go to members, you'll see there's no one in here, but we can create a new member. If we go back to our settings tab, we're still in that custom object section. You can see you can now set up those member properties the same way you can create new properties for other objects. You can also set up the fields that you see when you're creating a new member. And if you come back to the associations tab, it'll take you right back to where you can define different associations. Um, so reach out with any other questions, pretty cool tool.